Hi, everyone. Welcome again to IV English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela. And I'm Wesley. Today we have our final lesson, the three of us, for this month. It is a dialogue and it happens to be called Hit the Books. What's the K? I don't know. We just say that K Su. Oh, really? Yeah. K Su means to study. I、yes. think, isn't it from KO, like knockout? I don't think so. Oh, that、yeah. had been my assumption, but okay. Yeah, K Su, well, it goes way back. Oh. Yeah,、huh. when I was little, we say K Su. Yeah. Okay, interesting. They had Chinese then? Uh, I think so. <laughs> I think Bruce is mentioning about millions of years ago. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. Hit the books, as I said, is to study very, very hard.、Uh, we can also use hit not only for books. You,、uh, hit the sack. That's an、mm. interesting one. Hit the hay. Hit、yeah. the hay, hit the sack, or to go to sleep, but it means you're so tired, you're just going to fall down onto your bed or your pillow. Ah, so in English, it's hit the sack, S A C K, or Hit the、uh, hay, H A Y, 啊，就是那个草。那他的意思就是 go to bed。不过就像这 Bruce 老师刚刚讲，通常是说你很累的哈，就这样这个啪一下倒下去，马上就睡着了那种感觉。好，所以 hit 这个字其实类似用法还蛮多的哈。例如说 hit the bottle， 哦、oh. 哦、oh. ，hit the bottle 就是怎么样，开始买醉的意思。你开始喝酗酒，因为可能是你要逃避你的问题哈。所以你可以说，例如 he lost his job and hit the bottle。So I'm guessing "hit" is analogous to "go hard" for yeah, something. Hit the brakes. Hit the brakes. 就是你开开车都急踩刹车啊 ，hit the brakes. 那我刚刚讲的 "hit the bottle"， 那个 bottle 就是瓶子那个字哈 ，b o t t l e. There's also "hit the bricks," which、mm. is like you got a, you've lost your job, so you have to go out and look for a job, so you have to walk around. Actually, just "hit the bricks" is just walking around, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. This、这个、bricks is B R I C K S, 就是砖头哈。那你 hit the bricks 啊，有其实它可以表示 travel about 哈，就四处走啊。And remember that probably arose in the 18th or early 19th century when most roads were made of bricks. That's true. Yeah, 那它也可以表示这个呃呃、uh, uh, go on strike， 它也可以表示这个罢工的意思啊。所以 hit the bricks 有很多意思。那还有什么呢？这个其实你也可以讲 hit the road。Hit the road 就是上路的意思。Hit the road, Jack. Yeah. Don't, Don't come, come back, back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hey, Jack. It's a really good song. You yeah, gotta look that up. Yeah, 这首歌是这个美国文化非常重。你大概几乎，我想大概百分之八十以上美国人都知道这首歌啊。Hit the road 啊，那就是 set out on a journey 啊。那还有什么呢？还有例如说 hit the ceiling 啊，或者 hit the roof. Oh, right. That means you lose your temper. Yeah, 那是暴怒的意思，而且常常 you start shouting. Yes. 啊，通常的 hit the ceiling 哈，就撞到这个天花板屋顶哈 ，C E I L I N G 或者 hit the roof 哈，这个 R O O F 两个都可以，意思都差不多，就是暴怒哈 ，fly into a sudden rage. 好，那另外还有一个也蛮好用的，对各位吃到东西觉得好吃啊，不要一天到晚只会 delicious, delicious. 好，有一个片语可以，你可以说 hit the spot. Oh yeah, S P O T 啊 means you really like something. Yeah, hit the spot. 就是你，你真的觉得说啊、uh, ，that's exactly what I like. 或者 I'm really satisfied. Say on a really hot day, you get a cold drink. Oh man, oh, that, that hit hits the spot. 啊，所以各位可以想，这是一个 typical 的一个 context， 就很热的一个天一个天气呢。你那个拿呃，在喝那个冰凉的饮料，那就 hit the spot. 哇，就是 you're very satisfied. 啊，那你也可以说，例如说 ，Wow, that pie hit the spot. 啊，那那个那个蛋糕真是好吃，而且那种好吃是吃了之后你心满意足那种感觉啊。所以 hit 啊，其实还有很多，但是因为时间关系，我们不能讲太多。但这样类似这种结构 ，hit the bottle 啊 ，hit the bricks, hit the ceiling, hit the roof 啊 ，hit the hay 啊 ，hit the sack 啊 ，hit the road, hit the spot 啊，类似的结构。All of them are about going hard. It's not a mild or a weak. Occurrence. It's like something very strong. It's something you feel strongly about, or you're doing with gusto. Yeah. Ah. That this thing is. This. We. 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 Fanny,、uh, I had a great aunt named Fanny,、mm-hmm. um, but I, you know, I don't know what her given. I don't think that was her given name. It was more of a nickname. Oh, Fanny is short for Francine. Oh, thank you. Lover、ah. of France. 
Okay. Do you want to read our dialogue? Sure. Do you want to be Mrs. Chen or Fanny? <laughs> I'll be the mother. Okay, <laughs> go for it. Why are you still awake? I can't sleep. I've been tossing and turning all night. Is something on your mind? Yeah, I have a big test coming up tomorrow. Did you study? I've been hitting the books for weeks, but it's all over my head. Well, no matter what you do, don't fail this test. I won't, Mom. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> we should dramatic. record that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm interested is that how come the mom didn't know she had a big test coming up tomorrow? And then she's suddenly like, well, I didn't know you're having this test, but don't you fail that test. It's a, uh, you know she's what I'm less saying? concerned about her daughter's nervous condition. Than and about... she's more like, don't fail that test. <laughs> uh-huh. Like you didn't even know it was coming up. What the heck? This dialogue is not quite sensible. Weird. Okay. Mm. We start with uh, Mrs. Tun. Why are you still awake? So it's probably sometime at night and probably later at night than usual for both of them to be up I'm or imagining, awake. I'm imagining they're in the kitchen getting water. That's the scene for this oh. scene mm. in my mind. Yeah. So you are still awake? Awake is not sleeping. So like Angie said, they are probably going to go to the kitchen to drink water. The mom sees you, why are you still awake? So she... 这句话类似我们中文讲，你怎么还没睡？哈 ，Why are you still awake？ 那 awake 这个字呢，它常常会跟几个很常用的结构，例如说 stay awake， 啊，这是醒着的意思啊。所以，例如你可以说 ，How do you stay awake during boring lectures？ 啊，那个很无聊的 lectures， 你怎么能够醒着？你怎么可以不睡呢？啊 ，stay awake。那你躺在床上睡不着，你可以到 lie awake。好，所以你可以说啊 ，Do you lie awake at night? 啊 ，worrying about things. 啊，所以 lie awake at night， 晚上躺在床上睡不着。Lie awake, L I E。好，那另外一个也很常用，叫 keep somebody awake， 就是让某人睡不着的意思。啊，所以你可以，例如说 ，We were kept awake all night by the noise。啊，我们整个晚上都没办没有办法睡觉，因为那个声音很吵。所以 awake 这个是很实用，大家可以把它学起来。And Fanny goes, I can't sleep. So I'm awake because can't sleep. <laughs> It's very straightforward. <laughs> If I could have been sleeping, I would be.、Mm. But then she goes on to say, "I've been tossing and turning all night," and that I love tossing and turning as an expression because it is exactly what you do.、Mm-hmm. What you're tossing, what you're throwing, is your covers, and turning is your body. So as you're turning your body back and forth, you're tossing your covers back and forth, and everything's tangled up in a giant mess, and it's super uncomfortable. 嗯，好，所以呢，这个句子他首先讲 I can't sleep 啊 ，I can't sleep， 这个就是我睡不着的意思啊，所以你讲我睡不着就可以这样讲。然后呢，他说 I've been 我一直在怎么样 tossing and turning， 这个你要一起把它学起来，这个中文就是辗转反侧啊，睡不着的辗转反侧。好，那个 tossing 啊，这个跟棉跟你的棉被有关系。好，他这个 turning 呢，就是你自己身体啦、啊，这个。翻来覆去那种感觉，好，所以辗转反侧。那因为 toss 这个字本身就是丢的意思，或者甩的意思，啊，那个就是 toss。啊，例如你讲 the little boat was tossed roughly 啊 by the waves 啊，所以这个小船呢被这个大浪啊甩来甩去啊，所以 tossing and turning。有时候你可以想，有时候睡不着的时候，你那个转身可能转的啊非常的猛啊，那个我觉得感也有一点像 tossing 那种感觉啊，所以 tossing and turning 就是。辗转反侧 ，all night. 我整个晚上都翻来覆去，睡不着了。And so her mother asks her, "Is something on your mind?" Because well, there are many reasons you might toss and turn:、uh, upset stomach,、um, trying to remember something, or having too much money.、Um, oh, you must toss and turn all、uh-huh. the time. Yeah, all the time. But getting back to reality is maybe somebody said something to her during the day and it bothered、oh, her and it,、yeah. she couldn't get it out of her mind. Another、yeah. way to say is something on your mind is is something bothering you. Hmm.、Mm. Ah, so you you this is something on your mind. 就是你是不是有什么心事啊？有什么心事？那你也可以说 is 也可以问说 is something bothering you 啊？是不是有什么事情让你觉得不舒服哈？那就是让你睡不着。那或者你可以 ，What do you have something on your mind？ 啊，你是不是心里面有什么这个心事？那 on your mind 这个片语呢？啊，大家记得它跟 in your mind 不太一样。嗯、mm. 啊
in your mind 是指你心里啊，或者你心里想的，那叫 in your mind。好，所以例如你可以说 ，Well, you never know what's going on in her mind。啊，你从来不知道她心里在想什么，意思就是 you never know what she's thinking。Yeah,、mm-hmm. and besides that, there's in mind, which is different than in your or her mind.、Mm-hmm. So, do you have something in mind? It means are you thinking of a particular thing? And I find that、um, ESL speakers tend to mix up on your mind, in your mind, and in mind a lot. Hmm. 好，所以这个 have something in mind 就是 you're thinking about something. 啊，就是心里在想某些事情。啊，那这个。但 in your mind, in somebody's mind, 就指这个人的心里面啊，所以有一点点区别啊，所以这个是在心里的意思。好，那这个呃呃，例如你可以说啊，这个 Well, there was no doubt in my mind that 如何如何，就是我心里面对这件事情是完全没有任何的怀疑的啊。There's no doubt in my mind that it was the right decision to make. 嗯啊，或者是这个你要买东西啊，买这个。你跟他讲说，哎，我想要买一个什么沙发或什么，对你的朋友或你家人可能问你会可能会问你说 ，Well, do you have a clear picture in your mind of what you want? 啊，你心里面有一个很清楚的这个想法呢？这个是 in your mind。好，那 on your mind， 它指的就是通常是 something that you you worry about 啊，或者这个那所以例如你可以讲说 ，Well, work is very much on her mind at the moment 啊，它这个。工作呢？他现在心里面一直很操心他工作方面的事情啊。It's very much on her mind. 或者是你可以说，哇，他看起来有心事哎。啊，这句话英文你可以说 ，He looked as if he had something on his mind. 啊，看起来好像他是有点心事那种感觉啊。那另外一个呢，这个你讲话的时候又失神了啊，你在想心事，别人跟你讲你没听到啊。这时候你可以说 ，Well, sorry, I forgot. 你真的忘了这件事情了啊。例如说，这个啊，你要该带什么东西上班，或者该带什么东西给别人啊，但是忘了，你可以说，好、oh, ，Sorry, I forgot. I've got a lot on my mind. 啊 ，at the moment， 就是我现在心里面 ，I have a lot of problems to worry about， 所以忘了这件事情了。所以是 on your mind，on my mind 是这样子的用法，大家可以参考一下。And so Fanny's answer was, yeah, I have a big test coming up tomorrow. And this is the part that strikes me weird is when you, because she's just talking about a big test. It just One big test. It's a big test. It's not that big a deal. She's not emphasizing it in any way. If she had said, "If I have the big test coming up tomorrow," then it would imply that her mother knew about it. Because she said that a big test, that means that it implies that her mother doesn't know about it. And that's the problem here, is because later on her mother has such a strong reaction that she's got to, you know, she's got to not fail this test. It must be super important. Then why would she just say a big test like it wasn't that important? And that's the difference in English between a and the. So a is just any old thing. It's not super important. It's just one instance. But the is, it's important, or it's something that has been talked about before that both speakers in a conversation are aware of, or it's、um, a particular set of things. And so the points out things in a way that a doesn't. One way that might help some of our students distinguish these two. When you say "ah,"、uh, think of any, not an, not a particular one. Yes, any one. Yes,、mm-hmm. "ah"、uh, and "any" are basically the same meaning, but "ah"、yeah. uh, is like a tinier way to say it. So the fact that she just said, "I have a big test," makes no sense when her mom was suddenly like, "It's super important." Hmm. 好，所以这个地方讲说 ，I have a a、uh, big test， 一个大的考试 coming up tomorrow. 好，明天这个 coming up 通常在都是用现在进行式哈，所以。Be coming up, 你各位各位要这样去学这个片语。Be coming up 的意思就是 to be about to happen 啊，马上要发生的事情啊。所以，例如你可以说 ，We've got a busy period coming up 啊 ，in a couple of weeks 啊。所以，或者是 With Christmas coming up 啊，这个 everybody is 啊、uh, has gone out shopping 之类的啊。所以 ，be coming up 这先学起来。那再回到我们刚刚讲的那个 a big test 啊，如果是 a big test， 那就表示是。这个 any 就是任何一个都有可能，然后这这是一个新的资讯，告诉他妈妈啊。那所以后来他妈妈突然很惊，很很很很这个很强调的说，你不可以放掉啊，怎么样？他有一点点不顺啊。但是这个地方如果我们用 the 的话 ，I have the big test coming up， 那就表示妈妈知道这个 big test 啊。那所以就这个语这个就比较明确、比较强的一个语气啊。所以这个地方你 I have a Big test, 跟 I have the big test coming up 都可以啊，用的用额都可以，但是意义上有一点不一样。I have a big test 就是啊一个新的资讯啊，我有明天要考试一个大考
。但是如果是 the I have the big test 的话，就是妈妈也知道哦，你明天要有这个考试了。Uh, you may see coming up on television when they are sort of、oh. pre-advertising the next program or the next segment of the same program. Oh, coming up, 在电视上面也常常会看到，就下一个节目哈，马上接下来的要播的是什么 ？Right.、Yeah. Okay. The mother asks, "Did you study?"、Uh, suddenly, she's not concerned about her daughter losing sleep. She's suddenly very concerned about the results of the test. Yeah, can we say have you studied here? I would I'd rather say have you studied here because did you study is a yes no question and、yeah. it's implying that the it's the it's possibility a, that she didn't study. But if you say have you studied, it's still a yes no question. But you're more like asking about how much studying have you done. She assumes she's done some, but yeah. not much. Yeah,、mm. so that's the sort of the usage difference between did you and have you. 啊，所以这个 did you 跟 have you 不太一样。啊，这个 did you study 感觉起来是过去一段时间你应该做啊。我问你在那个时间有没有做，所以它比较凶啊。但是 have you study 是跟现在有关，就是到目前为止你有没有读啊？我不管你什么时候读的，你有没有读啊？那所以当你讲说 have you study， 感觉起来好像是你也许有读了一点啊，但是啊，那你有没有读呢？到目前为止你有没有读？啊，这个 have 用现代文字是一直跟现在有关系。Have you studied? 你如果还没有读的话，那你赶快去读。但 Did you study? 感觉起来是比较严厉的询问哈。哎，等下你昨天你该读的时候有没有读？例如说，你这个教功课的时候，老师或者是老师上课的时候问说 ，Have you studied? 或 Have you done your homework? B Did you do your homework? 啊，这两个差别的。Have you done your homework? 就 I don't care 你什么时候做的，你有没有做好？但是 Did you do your homework? 感觉起来是 You're supposed to do that yesterday, but did you do it? 啊，所以它比较凶一点，这是一个很细微的差别。And Fanny's answer is, she says, "I've been hitting the books for weeks." And here's our title:、um, She's been really studying hard for weeks because she's not just been studying; she's been hitting the books. She's been very seriously studying, but it's all over your, my head. She says it's all too hard for me to understand. Yeah, this、这个、over my head, how over someone's head. 前面常常会加一个 go 啊、uh, go over someone's head 啊、uh, 意思就是。太太难了 ，to be too difficult for someone to understand 啊，超过某人的理解范围啊。所以，例如你可以讲说 ，Well, her explanation went straight over my head <笑>啊。这个他的他的 explanation 呢，他的解释呢，完全我听不懂啊，不知道他在讲什么东西啊。所以 went over my head 啊，所以这是一个很常用的一个这个说法。当然 ，go over someone's head 另外一个意思是越级报告的意思啊。那但在这里。Oh. 呀、yeah, ，越级报告啊！但在这里呢，是这个他我完我太太难了，我都不懂啊。It's still over my head. Okay, and the mother. Well, no matter what you do, don't fail this test. And as I said before, it's、uh, unfortunate or unusual or sad that the mother is more concerned about the results of the test than her daughter's well-being. Yeah, 这个地方呢，这个妈妈有一点啊，她好像。的太注重这个考试的结果哈，而比较不太关心说他女儿现在睡不着，太紧张了哈，所以这个换别的妈妈可能会有不同的反应。<笑> I mean, not only does she not care, she adds pressure. She literally adds pressure. She She's like, oh, you're not sleeping well because of this test. Well, let me make it harder for you to sleep. <笑> yeah， 那他不但是没有说这个关心他女儿的这个呃。生活起居，他甚至于这他这句话讲的其实是增加他的压力，因为说他怎么说？他说 ，No matter what you do， 啊，就是 I don't care what you do， 啊 ，You can do anything， 啊 ，Just don't fail this test， 你就不要考，你就千万不要给我考砸了就对了。好 ，fail this test，fail 就是在这里其实 fail to pass 的意思，就是你不要考试不要当掉了，不要考得不好。所以这个是一个压力，就是我不管你怎么样哈，这个 no matter what you do 哈，有的是也我们会简单的讲 no matter what 哈，不管怎么说啊，那他的在这里意思很接近的 in any case， 不管怎么无论如何，不管怎么样了啊，你就不要给我考砸就对了啊 ，don't fail this test。所以这是一个相当强硬的，几乎语带威胁的意思啊，就你就不要给我考对，你你就千万不要考砸。And you can tell how personal that the mother suddenly made this because of the daughter's response. Because up until now, she's been like, "Yeah, it's been really hard." Also, the mom didn't address the fact that the daughter said that this is too hard for me. Yeah, she, the daughter was like, "It's over my head," and the mom's like, "Well, I don't care. You can't fail. Like, can you talk to your daughter about what's too hard? Can you maybe have talked to your daughter earlier about what's too hard? Like, or maybe help her. You're not being very supportive in this case. Yeah. 
So, but you can see how the emotional stakes have been raised by the daughter's response, because then she goes, I won't, Mom. I promise I won't let you down. Suddenly, it becomes a personal thing. If she fails the test, she fails her mother. Yeah. You know, it's, you know, and if there wasn't this previous setup, Mm-hmm. The daughter wouldn't have had this kind of response. So this is responding to previous things in their relationship. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 那女儿其实已经发出求救信号了哈。我睡不着，我有毒，但是读不懂啊。可是他妈妈都不管这些，就跟他讲说啊，不管怎么做了，不管怎么说了，反正无论如何，你千万你就不要给我考砸了啊。那女儿听到这个时候，她的反应也也。也开始觉得说哇，那好像我读书是为了妈妈那种感觉的，所以他说啊，我不会考砸的。I promise， 我跟你保证 ，I won't let you down。那这个其实压力更大，你明明就读不懂了，你怎么可以说 I won't let you down 啊？而且读书其实应该是为自己读啊，不是为父母亲读啊。所以不是说啊，我我不会考砸让你失望，而是说你自己想要求学，你想要求知啊，你希望这个考试成绩好一点，自己努力等等的原因啊。所以这段对话，这个其实妈妈的性格非常明显啊，就是。不管女儿怎么样，你给我考，你考试给我考好就对了。那女儿最后也没办法啊，像碰到这样的双亲，可能到最后你考试就是为了双亲，那这个其实不是很理想的一个状况。嗯、mm. ，Another way to say let someone down is to disappoint someone.、Mm-hmm. D i s a p p o i n t, d i s a p p o i n t, disappoint. Yeah, but you, you, usually you, you you wouldn't say I promise I won't disappoint you. Do you say that? Yeah,、oh, you、okay. could say that. Ah,、oh. this is more colloquial. Yeah, yeah. let you down 比较口语一点啊，那 disappoint 比较正式一点，因为各位你看一个字那那么多个音节，哦、<笑>所以<笑> yeah， 所以 let you down I won't let you down。我在我听起来是一个很熟悉的一个英文的一个 chunk 啊，很常听到。嗯。Okay, well, that's it for our dialogue, and that's it、uh, for the three of us for the month of June.、Uh, we'll be back next month, hopefully several times, and we can enjoy learning and exploring the English language together. Until that time, bye bye.